Yesterday, I went to a fast food restaurant with my husband, and we noticed a guy came in and he had driven in in a Mercedes. He was sitting there by himself eating his vegan meal, and I was really curious about his story. As is often the case, I approached to say hello, and he seemed like he wanted to engage. I asked him if he was vegan. He said he was vegetarian. So I asked him, why is that? Why aren't you vegan? And he said, I don't know. I never really thought about it. So I inquired as to why he was vegetarian. And he said that he saw some documentary that broke his heart and he realized he could never eat animals again. So I thought to myself, that's strange that he would only see part of a documentary because usually they also talk about the egg industry and the milk industry. So I straight out asked him, I said, do you know what they do to the baby cows in the industry? And he said, no. So I told him about how the males are masturbated, the females have to undergo this rape to have this sperm inserted into them, that the baby boys are kidnapped when they are born because they are considered to be useless in the industry, so they are murdered for veal and turned into leather bags and, and so on. And he was shocked. He was quite stunned. He, he said he had no idea. So how is it that a rich man who is about, about 50 years old doesn't know what happens in the dairy industry. What happens in one's life that this information is floating around and it comes and it just sort of misses you? And if he doesn't know, how on earth could his children know? Or any children, or any teenagers for that matter. We have such a giant battle ahead of us to educate people. So I told him to go ahead and watch the documentary don'twatch.org or watchdominion.com. We exchanged numbers and he said he would and that he would get back to me. So what I'm finding is that the more that I talk to people, the more I realize that education is absolutely the key, but there are also other levels. For example, what if after he is educated, he doesn't change? I wondered since he said that his own children were not vegan or vegetarian, if it bothered him in the same way that it bothers me that he's not vegan. I wonder if it bothers him that they're not vegetarian like him. Of course, it's very difficult with family members. It's extremely difficult because we're dependent on them in so many ways. And also we do love them from the past. So it's hard to see them as being evil. But the truth is that we have to judge people in the same way that we would judge a complete stranger. If you know what goes on in the industry and you keep on paying into it, what does that make you? So I wonder, when will this gentleman get back to me and tell me that he's vegan? I really look forward to getting his text, because I think that he will. I just have a feeling. What about you guys?